Hi all, I have a fascinating kind of secret game to show you. This is from the TSEC bonus, which has currently been running. Uh, this is Leela ID 32329, so quite an advanced 30 network. Uh, it's playing against Stockfish developer version, so kind of to be Stockfish 11. Uh, the opening book given, D4, so Leela's playing white, C5, D5, we see the Shek Benoni or the old Benoni defense. Knight c3 from Leela, d6, a4, bishop e7, e4, knight f6, and now bishop b5 check. So maybe trying to get that light square bishop, but black prevents that for the moment. Stockfish plays knight bd7. So we have knight f3, black castles, bishop d3, knight h5, and now h3 is so inviting sometimes knight f4. It looks like it's more on the cards and it's actually played here. Any taking on f4 might open up this diagonal and give black that e5 square. So in fact, the bishop just humbly retreats. We see knight f6, knight d2, h5, and now this knight's kicked. Knight g6, knight c4. h4 trying to undermine white on the dark squares. Bishop e2, b6, and now bishop g4. Trying to ex again exchange off that light square bishop or wrench open this h file. Black ignores that. Uh, on knight takes h takes. This is too dangerous, really. Uh, this kind of situation where a knight can come to f5 like this, big advantage to white. So we see bishop a6, knight e3, knight to e8, rook g1. White has a good control over that f5 square here. Bishop f6, queen f3, and reinforcing f5 control. Bishop g5, bishop d2, hg, fg. White's holding up these dark squares at the moment. Knight f6, bishop f5, bishop c8. Now black is ready to exchange off that bishop. Knight cd1, bishop takes, knight takes. And the king is inconvenienced. a6, knight d, e3. So a stranglehold over the f5 square here. Knight e7. And here now that the knight's left f4, it seems g4 is more appropriate. Knight h7. And in fact, g5, this looks like a very attacking position for white without too much controversy. Knight g6, h4, except what about the f4 square? There is a little bit of activity for black, but that best piece is challenged immediately with knight g2. Knight takes, queen takes leaving white with the better pieces it seems g6 knight goes back b5 now a5 ready to close the queen side c4 we have king e2 b4 h5 trying to open the king side queen e8 uh clearly g takes is asking for trouble with g6 <laughs> this is just not on so uh, yeah it's horrible so uh queen e8 Rook a to f1, queen to b5. The king gets out of the way of that discovered check, king g7. Here you might think, well, what about this f5? What about f6? If f6, king g3 is actually strong. For example, taking here knight g4 now with f6 under fire and also g6. So this is actually quite good for white. This would be quite crushing. Uh, so we have king g7, queen h3, c3 b3 so closing up the queen side offering a the a pawn but look at black's king rook a7 knight c4 holding the a pawn now and hitting d6 rook c7 knight takes d6 yes that d pawn is taken uh so it seems as though this is getting to be a tricky uh, position defensively if, if the pawn's trying to be uh defended it's uh it looks yeah like a uh, a desperate move, rook c7 in some respects. Knight takes d6, queen d7. So, in fact, the exchange of queens is accepted. This end game looks very bad for black. G takes, knight takes e5. So these center pawns look like very strong winning center pawns. This exchange set looks absolutely desperate. Here, it, it just seems as though this is a straightforward position to try and win now, the exchange up. I think most of the damage has been done now. These pawns are mopped up a bit. And uh, yeah, this this is um, this is just a, a technique now. But let's have a quick look. 
whiz through how this was finished. Okay, so the exchange up and pawns are going to be making progress. Until here it's adjudicated as a win for white, so with adjudication. Um, yeah, I just want to stress though, it's an opening which probably favours leader a lot more. It's more positional, this chat Benoni. Uh, as you see, it was more about the f5 square, very positional considerations all the way through, less tactical in nature. So it is biased by the opening book given. But on the other hand, it shows some promise for the 30 network. Uh, it's still, you know, vividly improving each day on the self elo graph. Uh, so it may be that stockfish in the new year, in the first few months, might maybe could get a good challenge from this 30 network. Uh, overall, um, there's been a few crashes in, in this bonus thing. It hasn't been totally stabilized yet. Apparently, there might be some table base issue or something. So this is one of the only um, games coming to, to a, a concrete end, actually. I thought I'd show you it. Don't take too much from it. It's just it shows a little bit of promise. That's all, uh, really. But Stockfish is extremely dominant, uh, doing very well in the TSIP Premier, wiping out most engines. And it'd be good uh, that game hasn't come yet. It's soon for Leela to be playing Stockfish. I'm hoping Leela can draw at least with her current version of the Test 30. But yeah, Stockfish is the one to beat. And uh, this this is an interesting example game, maybe of how. In a positional opening, Leela can do well sometimes. Okay, I um, hope you enjoyed this game video. Please click on the top left box, which should appear shortly to become a member at chessworld.net. Play on the YouTubers. You can also check the YouTube analysis in advance of games from the improved menu, learn from the Masters YouTube order button. Comments, questions, donations, see the description. Like, share, subscribe with the notification bell. Appreciated. Also, check out the new Teespring store in the description. Thanks very much.